Hello, hello, and welcome to Rob Loach Loach Plays. So today, we are going to be talking about Dangerous Dave. So Dangerous Dave was a classic video game that I played when I was growing up, and I decided to re recreate it as a thank you to John Romero, who was the author. So John Romero has had, a, had an, an amazing effect on the game development industry. He, he founded uh, Dangerous Dave, made Commander Keen, uh, started ID, made Doom. So remarkable gentlemen, and I thought I'd recreate Dangerous Dave as a tribute to John Romero. So this is what Dangerous Dave looked like back in the day. Um, yeah. Uh, the objective out of Dangerous Dave is to uh, run through these levels and grab a trophy and then head your way to the door. Um, my remake is using uh, something called Tick 80. So let's see what it looks like. Uh, here we go. Here we go in this Tick 80 remake of Dangerous Dave. Oh, I seem to have... Um, uh, I missed the tribute to John Romero at the in the credits right underneath the logo. So um, yeah, there will be things that I miss in this in this remake, and I have not beta tested this yet. So uh, we will go through that today, and I don't know what's gonna happen. I might win, I might lose. I never beat this game as a kid, so we're gonna discover that together. So let's uh. Let's just get into this. Um, yeah, so this main screen, you can see I have start game, continue, high scores, or quit. Uh, we're just going to start the game. Let's start it off. So, here we have Dave. Dangerous Dave, you can see. Uh, you can jump up and down, um, grab some gems, which give you some score at the top left. Once you get the trophy, your objective is to go through this door. Let's, let's do that. All right, only nine levels to go. I'm, I'm happy that the first level worked out. So um, this second level, let's just go through this here. Um, if you're familiar with the original Dangerous Dave, you will see that some of the physics is different. Uh, namely the jumping. Um, the jumping mechanic in the original, it, it was... I think it's the reason why Dangerous Dave was so difficult back in the day. Uh, so I tweaked it a little bit so that you'd have a bit more control. Mm -hmm. If that breaks the game design, I don't know, uh, but we'll, we'll figure it out. So this second level, you get this, uh, you get the gun, you can see I can shoot with the gun, um, and you just saw a bullet pass by. There are some dangerous spiders over here. Um, so hopefully I can I can kill them. Okay, there we go. I got him. Got him. All right. There's another dangerous spider over. Here. Oh. Oh damn. So that means that I only have two more Daves left, which is unfortunate because I don't know if I can get through all ten levels with only three Daves. But we'll find that out soon. Oh. I heard that I got the second spider though, which is good. So let's let's get through this level now. Uh, so now that the two spiders are done, uh, this should be a lot easier. If I can get these jumps done, okay, yeah, we're good. I also kind of enjoyed the oh oh my god. <laughs> so no more Dave's left, <laughs> and ten more level, nine more levels to go. This is gonna be a real treat. Uh, yeah, you'll see the, the jumping sound effect. Um, I tried to mimic some of the sounds from the original. Um, probably without much success, but that's okay. Uh, another thing that the second level introduces is the jetpack. So you can, I, I can now fly with a jetpack around, which is pretty awesome. There's a jetpack level at the bottom left of the screen you can see. And once I run out of uh, jetpack, I fall down. So I'm just going to go through this door after getting this ring. There we go! Seven, seven levels to go. And no more Daves. 
So that's that's really good. Uh, this th is this the fourth level or th yeah level four. So level four in introduces the slicer. The, everyone hated the slicer back in the day. Um, uh, luckily in this version it's a bit easier. <laughs> Um, I had some troubles replicating some of the patterns behind the slicer, but we can talk about that later. Uh, yeah, so in this level you have to go and grab the jetpack. I don't know whether you have to go to the right or to the left after you get the jetpack, but let's, let's see. I'll, I'll head to the right and then we'll find out. I think I have to go to the left though. Yeah, so the, the door is at the top right. You can see it up there. So I'm just going to head all the way back to the beginning. Yeah, the uh, the slicer in the original... The slicer energy and en enemy was really hard to deal with. Um, especially because in this level you don't get... You don't get a gun to deal with them. So you just kind of have to dodge. Uh, but luckily, now that I have the jetpack, it's a lot easier to get. So, now that I have the jetpack, I can run over here, grab the trophy, and jump out of here. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about other classic games to remake, because building this was a lot of fun. Um, uh, what I wanted to do out of remaking this was just like get a get a sense of what the development process was like, um, how to remake a game like this, a classic game like this, um, get some familiarity out of uh, straight sprite mapping and and tile sets. Uh, so it was pretty cool. All right, so I got the crown on my way out, which is really cool. Level 5! Uh, this is the first level that is, like, outdoors, which is really cool. I like the I like the aesthetic out of it. Um, let me grab this gun and then deal with this enemy there. There we go. Great. Oh my god! Good dodge. Good dodge. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Uh, there's the moon. The moon. Fun fact. Uh, humans landed on the moon um, exactly 50 years ago. Crazy fun. Hey! So I died! Unfortunate! But I did get the top high score there. Um, I added in this high score list and it uh, saves it into persistent memory too, which is kind of cool. So next time I load it up, the high score will still be there. But um, what we can do is just go down to this continue button and continue where we left off. I do lose my score, but that's intentional because um, if you kept your score, you could just always get the highest of scores. So scores reset when you die. But you can continue off where uh, you left off, what level you were on, which is good. All right. So in level five, you can also climb, it shows that you can climb these trees, which is really cool. Pretty neat. I'll just climb that tree and then grab the trophy and get out of here. Hopefully I don't die. Oh my god, that was close. Um, one more enemy to go, it looks like. This guy is a bit tricky. Oh! Oh! Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna skip this guy. He looks kind of difficult to deal with. Alright, five levels to go. Um, yeah, I th I think when I played this as a kid, this was always the level that I would die on. I never made it past this. This, uh, oh, level six. I never made it past level six. Um, so let's see if I can do it. I always found, um, oh no! Um, yeah, level 6 was always the toughest, but now that I have the jetpack, I can probably just try to skip as many of these enemies as possible. It's also important to reserve your jetpack levels. 
go through the door. I think the door is at the beginning of the stage. I could be wrong, but we'll find out. Let's see. Yeah, the door is right here. Excellent. Four to go! Four more levels. Oh my goodness, I don't believe it. Uh, grab this gun. Oh, this guy moves so fast. <laughs> um, I don't have any jetpacks either, so this is going to be tough. Alright, got that guy. I don't have any idea where the trophy is in this level. I do see a jetpack though, so I'm going to grab that immediately. Immediately. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh! <laughs> oh yeah. Unfortunately with the uh, screen size of the tick, 80, um, I could only fit so much of the level on the screen at any given time. Same thing with the maps too. Um, tick 80 has a set amount of uh, memory that you can store. Uh, let's get around this guy. There we go. Um, so there was there was a limit of how much stuff I could store on the uh, on the cartridge. Okay, this this one's tricky because um, check this out. Ooh, this this little platform here. This is a this is a real bugger. It'll it'll get you. Um, so if, if you don't, if you're not aware of this one, you're gonna, this little trick platform, it'll get you and you will die, but luckily we did not die. And we're on to the next level. Three more to go. Okay, uh, level eight. So I don't, I've never played this level. Um, I don't know where the trophy is. It's gonna be tough. But I believe in ourselves. Oh, yes! So, this is really cool. So, if you see, there's a hole at the very top of the level up there. And if we go down, you'll see that there's a, uh, a hole at the bottom of the level. Right over there! So, tricky thing that you do in this part is grab your jetpack and then fall through the level. Pretty hilarious. I like it a lot. Um, ooh, I don't have a gun yet, so I can't kill this uh, this enemy coming up. And I have no clue where the trophy is yet. Ah, there's the trophy. All right, where's the where's the door? I gotta get to the door. Where's the door? Where's the door? Yes! Yes! Two more levels to go. I don't believe it. Let's go. Okay. This is level eight. Um, I'm guessing that the trophy is at the end of the level. So let's head over there. There's the trophy, but I can't get back up. I'm gonna go back. Oh no! This is gonna be tough. Okay. Oh no! Oh, it was one of those hidden platforms right at the end there. Um, it got me good. I gotta admit, got me good. John Romero, you got me good that time. But this time, no way. No way. Okay, so it's this last platform. Oh! I survived. I survived. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh my goodness. Okay. There's hidden platforms all over the place here. This is really tricky. Okay, I'm just gonna jump over into the door. If I can do it. Yes! Got it! Got him! Okay, last level. So! Um, I mentioned earlier there wasn't enough space for all of the levels. Uh, this was a problem that I ran, ran into on the last level. The last level, I couldn't fit it on the memory space of the Tick 80. So, um, one of the things that I thought Dangerous Dave was missing 
was a vertical stage. Uh, so I could actually fit a vertical stage on here, despite not having size for the original level. Now, I loved the original last level. Um, I've never got to it, uh, but I did watch playthroughs. It was pretty cool. Uh, but I, th I think that Dangerous Dave, it, it's kind of cool, like, having more verticality in there. So that's one of the things that I focused on for this final stage here. Um... Yeah, so you'll see a lot of going, moving up and down. Um, lots of dodgements. Do dodgements? Yeah, dodgements is a word. Uh, lots of dodging on this last stage as well. Oh! Uh, yeah, I stuck in a lot of uh, missing platforms too. Uh, one of the goals out of this was to teach you that the, the dots that appear underneath the platform are are uh, falling platforms. So on this stage, you, on this little platform, you have to jump from the end to the end. And if you try to get on this one, you'll just fall back down. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's the aim out of teaching you those, uh, those small platforms there. So you have to jump all the way over to this, this hidden tree here. Um, and this is something that Dangerous Dave didn't really Ah! <laughs> Didn't really do much was jumping between the trees. So I thought I'd explore that a little bit in this level. Oh my god. And it's very difficult to dodge these little guys too. So now that I have the have the gun, I can I can shoot them. Ah! Okay, that was close. I can shoot the enemies now that I have the gun. Oh my if I can actually climb up these trees. There we go. So this this part, this is kind of cool. I thought it was a neat idea to try. Oh no! Oh my god! I died! I died! Well, continue. Uh, yeah, I thought it would be a neat idea to explore some of the climbing mechanic more in this in this vertical stage here too. So that that's where I placed in all of the. Uh, all those trees and all of those enemies so that you can dodge those bullets. So if we can get up there, ooh, uh, it'll be good to kind of showcase that. Whoa! Alright, now we gotta shoot that guy. Head up here. Oh my goodness. To dodge all of these bullets while shooting the spiders. Crazy hard. Um, oh! That was close. So it, I thought this was a neat effect having um, all of the branches of the tree and they're, they're like on fire. Uh, makes some interesting dodging mechanics that you have to do while climbing. Uh, but there we go, we made it through. So this part, you'll remember the uh, those hidden platforms. Kind of tricky. So, stuck that in there. And now, we can grab the jetpack. Shoot that guy. Grab the trophy. Now we're almost there. Just have to head over to the door. And there we go. Yes! We finished the game! We did it! We did it! And there we go! Our high score is at the very top, level 10. Thank you! John Romero, we did it! We did it! So, I believe that's it. Um, yeah, this was, this was a very interesting experience. Um, recreating one of my favorite games as a kid. Um, yeah, I thought, I thought, I love, I, I absolutely loved Dangerous Dave when growing up, um, and growing up on Commander Keen and all the, all the id software games, Doom. So, John Romero, thank you for putting together Dangerous Dave. Uh, if you want to play this remake, I highly check, recommend you check it out. Uh, it's available on Tick.Computer, the website. 
TechID's website, you just head over to this this play tab and then go over to the new section. Um, it should be, yeah, there we go. It's the uh, second entry on here. And you can play it directly online, which is fantastic. Uh, and if you want to check out the source, the source code of it, um, you just head over to uh, github.com slash Rob Loach slash Dangerous Dave Tick 80. Yeah, so check it out. It was very fun to put together. And I thank you all for joining. Uh, follow me over at twitch.com slash Rob Loach. Twitch.tv? I don't know the website. But I am Rob Loach on Twitch. I am Rob Loach on YouTube. Follow me and leave a comment below of what old school computer game uh, you think that I should remake. Computer game or Super Nintendo game or NES game, anything. I'm definitely interested in hearing your thoughts. Thank you all, and we'll see you soon.